multiplying a monomial times a binomial times a binomial. So it's a little more complicated. And you could go about it by multiplying this, applying it to each term first, or what I'm going to actually do is multiply the binomials out and then work with this. So I need to apply the distributive property more than once here. OK, so I'm going to start out with this. Keeping the 4z squared and now multiplying out using the distributive property. And recall, with two binomials, you can use the FOIL method. So multiplying the first terms is going to give me 15z squared. Now the outer terms, that is 12z. The inner terms, negative 35z. And finally, the last terms multiplied by each other is negative 28. I can simplify a bit more, and this is 15z squared. I have like terms in here, and 12 minus 35 is negative 23z minus 28. Okay, so I applied the distributive property in here, multiplying each term in one times the, each term inside the other parentheses. Now I need to apply the distributive property again to work with the 4z squared. And that's going to give me 4z squared times 15z squared plus 4z squared times negative 23z plus 4z squared times negative 28. Okay, so I get 4 times 15, that is 60. Remembering that a to the m times a to the n equals a, and then I add the exponents. So adding 2 and 2 to get 4, this is z to 4, fourth power. 23 times, negative 23 times 4 is negative 92. z squared times z to the first power is 2 plus 1 is 3. Now, 4 times negative 28 is negative 112. And here I just have a z squared, no z term there. OK, so I'm looking here and see if I can simplify further. And I cannot, because there are no like terms. So today we covered operations on polynomials, focusing on addition, subtraction, and multiplication. And next time, we'll talk about division with polynomials. Thanks for visiting educator.com.